If you're afraid that robots are going to steal your job in the not too distant future, you're probably right. Vanguard also thinks change is coming, but there's some positive news for us humans. In Vanguard's latest Megatrends publication, they look at the future of work and define three capabilities that humans need to cultivate in order to remain relevant over the robots. The good news is you're still needed, but the bad news is you need to update your human software. There is some truth to the hype around AI and robots taking over the world. Just watch this clip from a demo that OpenAI recently released. This is truly incredible, but also a bit scary when you think about it. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. While it's amazing that humans are able to build something so advanced, it makes you think, is my job safe? Will a robot replace me and how will my children or grandchildren be able to compete with a robot for any job? Hey there, I'm Tom Polifka and in today's video, I'm going to share three key capabilities that you need to cultivate in order to remain relevant, according to Vanguard's Megatrend report on the future of work. Vanguard's research and analysis suggests that there will be more jobs in 10 years from now, while many pessimists warn of a future mass of unemployment. Before we can talk about what you need to do, we need to understand how we got here and where we're going. In 1996, AT&T closed the last telephone operator center in New England. The Peabody, Massachusetts office once employed 40,000 people to provide directory assistance and connect calls through switchboards. Years ago, you would say, AT&T, this is Rose, how may I help you? It made it so personal. Roughly a century after Alexander Graham Bell patented the telephone, this personal touch and the job that enabled it became obsolete. Ms. Trella says she understands why people don't need her help anymore. It's the automation. Over the past 200 years, the U.S. labor force has migrated from farm to factory to service sector. Technology changes human labor, but doesn't eliminate it. In the next decade, according to Oxford University estimates, 47% of U.S. employment will be at risk of automation. We can all agree that technology and automation have changed jobs over the last few decades, but have all of those jobs been eliminated? Vanguard believes jobs don't get automated away. Tasks do. Jobs disappear only if they consist of a few repetitive and automatable tasks. Human employment has always been a race between acquisition of skills and the development of technologies that render those skills obsolete. The future will be no different, but the race will be faster. The most alarming employment projections assume that humans will no longer be able to keep up with ever faster machines. 
Vanguard's analysis shows that pessimistic projections of mass unemployment rest upon three flawed assumptions. Number one, that a job consists largely of a single task. Number two, that technology is more often a substitute more than a complement to human labor. Number three, that the tasks of any job remain fixed in the face of technological innovation. So what is a job and what is a task? Vanguard built an employment model based on other research that states a job is a sum of its component tasks weighted by the importance of those tasks. By breaking down a job into tasks and giving them a weighting, it allows us to identify tasks that are least susceptible to automation, those tasks that humans can do better, and provide a guide on what training will help us stay employed. There are three categories of tasks that make up all occupations, according to Vanguard's report. Basic, repetitive, and uniquely human. Basic tasks include things like getting information, processing information, documenting or recording information, and yes, evaluating information. Repetitive tasks include things like handling and moving objects. Think back to that open AI robot picking up the dishes in that clip I showed you earlier. Other repetitive tasks include operating vehicles or equipment and scheduling work and activities. Uniquely human tasks are much more abstract, such as selling to or influencing others, thinking creatively, judging the qualities of things, services, or people, and coaching and developing others as some examples. Here's how jobs have changed from 2000 to 2015. At the right side of the chart are jobs whose mix of tasks have changed by as much as 80%. Photographers and desktop publishers have changed the most. Rather than performing general physical activities to expose negatives and develop prints in the darkroom, photographers spend more time thinking creatively and establishing and maintaining interpersonal relationships with clients and collaborators. The occupation that has changed the least? Economists. There has been a consistent reduction in the importance of repetitive tasks and an increased importance of uniquely human tasks. This transformation has taken place in every occupation, across all wage levels and in every part of the United States. On the left side, highlighted states including California and Massachusetts represent more than 50% of the U.S. economy's technology jobs. This concentration might suggest that the future of work is unfolding in just a few locations, but a task-level view presents a more realistic picture of the ways in which jobs are changing in a response to those technological changes. The map on the right shows that job tasks are changing in every state. For example, a North Dakota oil field worker may not be a technology job, but as oil producers use drones and electronic monitors to inspect pipelines, the oil field worker spends less time walking the lines and more time making decisions and solving problems. One of my first jobs while I was in college was working in the oil fields in northern Colorado. I worked at a wastewater disposal company that would take water from fracking wells and pump it back down into the earth. It was a dirty job, but it required a human to change filters throughout the night. I was that human. And to help truck drivers offload their water into the tanks we had. I can see a robot taking care of the filter changes now, but talking to those truck drivers, that's a human thing. They wanted to shoot the breeze while they were unloading their tank, and they didn't want a robot to talk to them. I'm pretty sure of that. So where are we headed with all of this? What's the future of employment look like? Today, the U.S. labor force spends about 50% of its time on uniquely human tasks. That's up from 30% back in 2000. Vanguard's research suggests three conclusions to what the future holds. Number one, task mix is an indicator of labor contribution to an economic output. Before the financial crisis, repetitive and basic tasks made the largest marginal contributions to an economic output. After the financial crisis, uniquely human tasks emerged as the most powerful engine of marginal output growth. The tasks contributing to the labor output have changed since 2008 to 2009's recession. Labor contribution to output growth is now driven more by human tasks than before the recession. Number two, the race is afoot. We use a measure of technology's contribution to economic output to chart the race between human and machine. In repetitive tasks, the machines are outracing humans. In advanced tasks, humans are setting the pace. The more human a job, the less technology contributes to the output. Repetitive jobs attract automation. Contribution of IT capital to output is highest for jobs with the most repetitive tasks. 
Number three, technology is making humans more valuable. As an industry's investment in technology increases, basic and repetitive tasks contribute less to economic output and uniquely human tasks contribute more. Technology's rise has not substituted for uniquely human work. Uniquely human work has become more important with technological advances. How does all of this impact the potential for your job to be done by a robot in the next 10 years? This chart shows the potential for different jobs to be automated. In the lower left quadrant are jobs with a small number of critically important tasks and low scores for importance of human tasks. These jobs, which make up 13% of all occupations, are at the greatest risk of automation. Parking lot attendant falls into this quadrant. In the upper right quadrant are jobs with high number of critically important tasks and high scores for the importance of human tasks. These jobs, which make up 58% of all occupations, are at the lowest risk of automation. Surveyors and science teachers fall into this quadrant. Could there be a labor shortage even with all the rise in technological advancements? Today, uniquely human tasks account for on average 50% of a job's critically important tasks. In the decade ahead, it could rise to 80%. This shift will produce a labor market paradox, more automation yet rising labor shortages. In the best case, workers today who specialize in basic repetitive tasks will develop the skills to perform the rising number of uniquely human tasks demanded by more jobs. How can you or your children avoid being automated away? Well, Vanguard suggests these critical capabilities for the future of work. Creative intelligence, the ability to generate new ideas and connect seemingly unrelated dots. Technological acumen, the ability to develop or use technology to solve business problems. Emotional intelligence, the ability to recognize and manage emotions to motivate and collaborate with others. We live in an age of technological disruption. Technologies such as autonomous vehicles and artificial intelligence can seem to set a stage for an apocalyptic future without jobs. The reality is more encouraging though. Vanguard's analysis of labor department data shows that over the past two decades, the tasks that make up any one job have changed. Some tasks have disappeared, but job growth has continued. We spend less time on repetitive rules-based tasks that can be captured in an algorithm and more on uniquely human tasks. These trends will continue to reshape employment in the next 10 years, and the pace will accelerate. The result will be a labor market paradox, more robots, but not enough people. If you're up for the challenge of beating out those robots, I'd recommend watching this video next. I share high income skills that will help you work with technology and apply uniquely human tasks that will allow you to thrive for decades to come. Thanks for watching the video and remember to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and I hope something great happens to you.